Hey guys, YouTube has an office here in Japan, in Tokyo, and when I first started my two channels, uh, my, this one and my, the, the Japan channel, when I first started them, there's a couple of things I noticed. One is that YouTube was excellent, um, this was a couple of years ago, and I'd been on another website and YouTube was so much better, it really was, it was excellent. Uh, and I actually had a really good rapport. When I first started, I had a really good rapport with the guys in YouTube office in Tokyo, um, one guy in particular. And we used to exchange emails. If I had a problem or a question or something, we'd exchange emails. Very friendly, very kind, you know, chatting about all sorts of stuff not related to YouTube, just being two foreign guys in Japan. Uh, and it was all good. But as, as I'd sort of been on YouTube for a while, there was a couple of things I thought weren't so good and needed to be addressed. So I'd send emails to him and say, hey, look, man, what's the story with this? You know, why is this? And I'd get either no answer uh, to my email or I'd get a cut and paste from um, from somewhere on the YouTube site, you know, the information site. So basically a textbook, handbook type response, not really addressing what I was talking about. So I was a little bit frustrated by this and some of the topics uh, I'd seen other people talking about as well on YouTube that they were concerned about. So I felt that they needed to be addressed and it's my style that if I, if I think something needs to be addressed or looked at, I'll go to the people concerned. So I sent emails to YouTube first and there was no sort of response or no addressing of the issues. So I made videos about it. So that's why on my silly old dude channel there's the uh, rants about YouTube playlist. Now the reason I do those videos isn't because I like complaining, it's because my thinking was that if enough people talked about the things that need improving or the things that need changing or the things that aren't quite right, that maybe something will be done about them. You know, because YouTube and, and Google, the owner of YouTube, are basically a business. They want to make money, that's their main motivation. Um, so they're interested in making money and they're interested in their public image because the public image is tied in with how much money they can make. They need to maintain a good public image to make a lot of money. So my thinking was that if I made videos about topics that needed to be addressed and enough people supported them, that YouTube would listen. And it's, I mean, it's been proven before that different things have been addressed by, you know, on YouTube. And I mean, this is one of the best things about YouTube. You know, YouTube's, YouTube's changed governments, you know, not directly, but, you know, YouTube's helped change governments. YouTube's helped achieve all sorts of things, good things around the world, you know, by bringing things to the public view. So my thinking was that we could do the same thing with YouTube, that if there were some things on YouTube that needed to be improved, that if we addressed them, that, you know, they could be changed. So that's what I've been doing. Now, what it's cost me has been my relationship with YouTube has got worse because they're not interested in in someone who makes waves and particularly someone like me who has made waves but not enough people have listened basically uh, and what I've found has happened on those rants is that the people that comment all say yeah yeah you're right you're right good on you for making these videos and then what they'll do is next time there's something that that's the YouTube are doing that they don't like you know some something I don't like that's happening they, they send me an email and say make a video about it you know I don't like the new front page what do you think make a video about it so I make a video about it and say well this new front page isn't real popular Seem, people seem to like the old one better uh, and everybody says yeah yeah that's right and you can see on the rant videos you know everybody agrees yeah 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 and that's all so three three thousand views four thousand views on one of those videos is just nothing on YouTube I mean nobody cares that's not enough to attract attention but the YouTube people in Tokyo do see those videos so basically what it's meant is those guys aren't interested in me at all anymore if I have a problem um, so without wanting to sound paranoid <laughs> there's enough evidence to suggest you know that I've had I've had videos taken down um, for things that like you know I've, I've addressed this in other videos but I've had enough stuff happen to me the last six months that I know it's not paranoia um, what's happening is I'm either having problems and they're not helping with me with them so that I get in more trouble or um, they've got a bit of spare time so they decide to 
start sending me letters demanding that I do things that no one else does, you know, written consent from people that are in my videos or whatever. So anyway, the most recent one was the monkey penis, um, seven seconds of monkey penis in one of my videos. You know, there's all sorts of naked animals all over YouTube. Basically, basically, I've got a strike against my account for showing a naked animal on YouTube. Now, there's tens of thousands of, of naked animals. I appealed it. They ignored the appeal. Now, I know two years ago, I had a similar, fa uh, what do they call it, silly um, strike against me, and the guys at Partner Support went, oh, yeah, it's pretty silly, and they took it away. They withdrew it, so they, they helped me out. Now, of course, they don't want to help me out. So, my point is, guys, what's been happening is... I, I think that I think that people speaking up when things need to be improved, when things are silly, you know, like for example, you know, since when is naked animals uh, inappropriate or obscene or whatever it is that they're claiming that it is, you know, that's just silly. And that I think that when there's stupid things like that, people need to stand up and do something about it. But I've been standing up with my flag going, hey, let's do something about this. Now I sent that that video about the, the banning YouTube ban naked animals, I sent that to my 5,000 subscribers on this channel and my 25,000 subscribers on my other channel and asked for help. So I sent it to 30,000 people and I asked for help. I asked people to help and I asked people to spread the word, spread the video around to try and help me out. So far, 3,000 people have watched that video. So basically what's happening is people are going, yeah, that's really bad and then clicking on the next video and eating cookies and watching the next video. So, you know, I was quite happy to stand up the front and hold up the flag, but what's been happening is I'm standing up the front holding up the flag, I'm getting shot, shot down, and everybody's going, oh, that's really bad, and then watching the next video, <laughs> you know? So, you know, I've put in seven hours a day, eight hours a day for the last two years, every day for the last two years, on my YouTube channels, really put a lot of work into them. And, you know, I don't mind getting ignored by the guys in at YouTube, and I don't mind, you know, people with less less views than me and less uh, subscribers than me getting $1,000 Christmas bonuses when I don't. You know, that was all okay, and I was prepared to keep making honest videos about YouTube after that, knowing full well that there'll be no, there'll never be a Christmas bonus for me, never be a thousand dollars for me. That's not a problem. Happy with that too, don't care. Still happy to keep making videos telling telling it the way it is. But if if they're giving me strikes, they're gonna take down my two accounts. I've I've invested tens of thousands of hours of my time making my videos and putting them on these these accounts. If they if they close down my accounts, I'm not gonna do it again. All that time I've spent is going to be, have been wasted. So, you know, if people have got behind me on those videos and, and if everybody just watched it once and sent it to someone else and asked them to watch it once who sent it to someone else, those videos would make the front page and we could change stuff. YouTube would listen, you know, because stuff like that, it, when it gets on the front page of, of YouTube, it gets picked up by the mainstream media and we've seen that before stuff that, that, you know, there's a million examples of that, the guy with the intruder bedroom song, I mean, millions of examples where a video makes it to the front page and then it's on the mainstream media. And, you know, if a story like YouTube bans naked animals makes it into the mainstream media, YouTube would listen. They'd go, oh shit, that's embarrassing, and they'd change the rule, or they'd stop hassling people about it or something. You know, you know that, that'd just look ridiculous, wouldn't it? YouTube ban naked animals, you know, how ridiculous is that? So, my point is, guys, I surrender. I'm not standing up the front anymore, getting shot down, um, with nobody backing me. And I mean, to those 3,000 people who have supported me, thank you. But unfortunately, guys, 3,000 of us is not enough. All that's going to happen is I'm going to lose my accounts and I'll be out of the, the battle altogether, which is no good to anybody. So, what I'm saying to you is I'm not going to do it anymore because I can't afford it. I've already got a strike up. And the problem with that is their system says, their rule says, here's another interesting rule, if you get a strike and you appeal it, that during the next six months, if you get another strike, you can't appeal it. Which means that the second strike, they can, they can accuse you of something, find you guilty and penalise you, and you can say nothing about it. No matter how unfair it might be, you can't do anything about it. That's their rule. Now once again, another unfair rule, but as long as you guys keep letting them kick you in the balls, um, the, the unfair rules will stay there and you know 
I tried even talking about this on, a, on the, the one of the forums on YouTube, and everybody went, oh, well, it's just the way it is. That's fine, guys. So my point is, a, a couple of points. One is, just complaining is not going to make any difference. Just leaving a comment on a video going, yeah, that sucks, is not going to make any difference at all. So if you really want to change anything, whether it be YouTube, or whether it be save the save the whales, or whether it be save the forests, or whether it be you know stop the wars, or if, whatever it is, if you want to change stuff, you can change it if you actually do something. You know, if you actually do something, if you see a video on YouTube that you really agree with, some activist type video that you really agree with and think it's worthwhile, whether it's about YouTube or whether it's about saving the trees or whether it's about whatever it happens to be about, if you really agree with that. Do something about it. Take that video and put it on your Facebook and put it on your Twitter and send it to all your friends and tell them, suggest to them that they put it on their Facebook and put it on their Twitter. Because if you give it to five people and they give it to five people and they give it to five people, it will end up on the front page of YouTube and it will make a difference. You know? Um, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But at the moment, the majority of people don't care. And, and this is why people complaining about YouTube and Google being arrogant, you know, like they do, they complain about Microsoft and everybody else being arrogant, and governments being arrogant. The reason that these guys are arrogant is that they know that you guys will just take it. And now I'm, I'm one of the people that's just taking it too because I've surrendered. I'm saying I'm not going to fight this fight and get kicked in the nuts and lose my accounts when nobody's, not enough people are backing me, basically. And that's how come they can walk all over us. Because just having a, oh, geez, it sucks, yeah, it sucks, is not enough. And they know that we'll keep lo we'll keep watching. We say, oh, yeah, man, that sucks, dude. Well, I hope you don't get banned. And then we watch another 10 videos and eat another cookie. <laughs> They're laughing at us. They're laughing at us. They're making huge amounts of money. They're making so much money, guys. They, they gave hundreds and hundreds of YouTube partners $1,000 Christmas bonuses at Christmas. And they chose who they gave it to, mind you. You know, they gave it to the people that, yeah, yeah, this guy's a nice guy. He's, he supports us. He doesn't say anything about us. You know, it, they're winning, guys. They're basically winning. They can treat you however they want to, and you'll just take it, most of you. I know there's some people who actually get active about stuff like this, but, but most people don't, including me now. I'm one of the people that go, yeah, man, that sucks. And then I have another cookie. So... <laughs> It's unfortunate. So my, my what I'm what I'm saying, guys, is don't waste your time. If 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 you're not happy about something, you know, complaining about something to make any difference, get active. If you find a video on YouTube that somebody's made that you really really agree with, you know, whatever the subject is, whether it be YouTube or the environment or war or whatever it is, if you really agree with it, spread it around. Give it to as many people as you can and get them to give it to as many people as you can. You'll make a difference. You'll make a difference. I'm sure you all know of at least at least one video that's been on the front page of YouTube that's been around the world. You know, I made one at the, the time of the Japanese earthquake, had 800,000 views. It was on Canadian TV and CNN. CNN con contacted me about that. You know, so we can make a difference. We can make a difference if we do something about it. So if you want to do something about it, do something about it. Spread the word, spread the video around, do something about it. So good luck with that I'll be watching more non-confrontational non YouTube related videos coming soon